reggae media TV Bada than everything we bad and we mad than everything we mad Okay, so dancehall artist Bounty Killer suing UK publisher to recover 60 million dollars in missing royalties. Yes, people, the dancehall artist issued proceedings in the High Court of Justice in London against British national Othman Muklis to recover almost 60 million in royalties. According to the lawsuit obtained by Dancehall Mag, Bounty Killer claimed that Muklis and his company Jamdown Music Limited collected over 325,000 pound of Bunty's royalties since 2002 that was never paid to the artist. His people from 2002, a long time that. So it's like Bunty, how him find out about this? It is because of his former manager Julian Jones Griffiths, you know, who brought it to the entertainer attention. Bunty is like from there, him go so and retain a lawyer in the US and the UK who investigated the matter and found statements and payments for over 325,000 pounds, you know, that were never paid to him as I mentioned earlier. Bunty also claimed in the lawsuit that when agreeing to allow Muclis to collect his royalties for a commission of 15%, Muclis made a fraudulent misrepresentation which means that, according to him, the agreement should be rescinded. Bunty filed this lawsuit in June 2022. <laughs> Okay, so for the past week, we see Skeng and Massacre throwing shade over social media, you know. So it's like Skeng go drop a song and him did this Massacre in it. This up Massacre woman and thing, you see me? Yes, people, but it's like based on the reaction we see so far, most of the fans are say Skeng need for easy because Massacre will rub him out, you know, him career just start. Him no want to flop at this moment when him career hot. So people, let me know what y'all think. Skeng this in Massacre right here in this new one. The break. Right here a fan giving Skeng, you know, some advice. Let me know if y'all agree with this right here. If me didn't ask Skeng who had this, me not tell him. Your thing just arise. You're not a growing phase. You're not a phase where you just acquire new fans. If you met the past, look for alkaline. When alkaline had a growing phase, him not really, him not really want nobody. Everybody a, a push shot off of him. He must say, no, me not war with them. So right now, when you're in a growing field, even though you're one of the hottest artists, hottest, me, me never see an artist hot so. And the youth, them really love you. Because when, when me talk to youth about you, they must say, yo, the man, you are the next greatest artist. So I think if you need, you really need to focus and keep growing. Because you can't, you can't push your thing far. You, you can't reach far. I thought, boy, you can be one of the biggest artists of this generation. Yeah. See, Massacre now. Massacre done past the growing phase. And it might be controversial, but Skeng, Skeng surpassed Massacre. Because the people who are fan of Massacre, well, they have two different fan bases. I say, Massacre have, Massacre have a older fan base, Skeng have a younger fan base. But Skeng have, Skeng have more people willing to listen to his music and interact with his music than Massacre right now. Yeah, you can check out the facts then. You can check it, you will see it. So Skeng have a buzz when we, we never seen no an artist have before. Even when Alkaline come out and him a buzz. He never have that buzz that was king of. As king now had no controversy. Him now getting a nothing. A man just a do it with, with the music. And then we were the young youth. Them love what him a do. So I tell him, say, yo. Don't get in a conflict with nobody right now. You need to give yourself a, a two, three year. You know, the game. You see me and say, well, you get from the growing face. To when you see a thing saturate, then you can say, okay, me can go ahead and get in a conflict with somebody, but not right now.
So now it's like war really in the ear because right here on Instagram live earlier we see Joshi immature some shade and to me it won't look like a artist out there Joshi a him lyrically at. So Silk Boss already this Joshi in a two songs you see me two this songs Silk Boss drop for Joshi and it's like Joshi responds saying him not really take Silk Boss serious, you know. Although, in a one part of this song right here, it look like a Silk Boss him attack. <laughs> you see it, but it's like Joshi, I don't know. Just the other day, we see Joshi comment on a post, Masika put up. And, you know, we see the little vibes are going between Masika and Skeng Camp, you know. We see some shade show over social media until Skeng this song drop. So, now... It's like Jashi put this out. People already a wonder if him a aim at Skeng. Remember, the fans them curious. Them a wonder if Jashi and Skeng are linked same way. Them a wonder if Jashi takes side with Masika. You see it? It's like the fans them a anticipate because some artists them heated for a lyrical war. Silk Boss go drop song. You know him go perform it at this up Jashi on stage. Now we see Jashi on him Instagram live right here at Cho Shade. And Skeng on top of that drop a this song for Massacre. So before the year done, me a predict a lyrical battle between two artists. Me a wonder who a go kick it off. Right now we see Skeng go drop a song. Let's see if Masika go reply. But some fans doubt that you know Masika gonna reply to Skeng. Let's see. We not underestimate nothing. Probably Masika decide him go drop a one song and just rrr, you know if it diss up Skeng. But right now it look like Jashi had for something. Jashi wa kill something before 2022 end. You know Jashi him say I know any any artist him go run out pan, but you know, from an artist want a lyrical battle, him not go hesitate for this them or anything like that. Me know say if a artist like you know, me not even go call no name or anything like that. But me know say if a artist worth it, Jashi I go clash. You know, Jashi not go hesitate. So when we see Jashi right here on him Instagram live, you know, I throw some shade and thing. I know nothing surprising. You see it. Alright, so right here I'm just sending my condolence to Jada Kingdom and her family as she mourned the death of her grandmother. But it's like right here Jada Kingdom put out a video addressing some people who are criticizing her outfit at the send off. I can't believe that my grandmother, who is basically a mom to me, right? Passed my her funeral yesterday. And all people are talking about a woman wear. I don't know how much I can sell it because this is outrageous, this is absurd. Like, I don't know how to sell it because this is outrageous, this is absurd. Like, really? No, for sure. Come on for my body, man. Come on for my dick, like, please. Alright, so this photo circulating with Spice and this white man right here is like some people are say a Spice new man, you know, people start to assume that a Spice man already, you know, and that Spice say the people them love put man panar. So, but the reason why some people already running with this is because recently we see Spice come out saying that she could bother with Rasta because, you know, Rasta man, him too controlling and, you know, the relationship could work out. If you want a man for control, I can go there with him. I'm going to not talk about But Miss Rasta, I work too hard for them with Spike. I don't want no man stress me. I don't want no man hold me down. I don't want no man tell me what to do. So despite that Instagram live and what Spice saying, some people are say them know say Spice still not left Rasta. Yes, people, but after this photo circulating, it's like Spice no say. The people them are going to run with it and say, oh, she have white man now and say all type of things. Some reaction right here. You can say this person post goody. You know them still are going to ask tomorrow. Them are going to say you have white man. LOL. And next person right here comment, Spice need a little vanilla in her chocolate. <laughs> Yes, people, so it's like we see Spice took to social media saying he's already taken, so don't even think about asking who this is. <laughs> so Spice makes sure she put that out from early. Okay, so congratulations to female artist Shensia upon copying her first entry on the UK singles chart with 
Calvin Harris and Charlie Puth. Yes, people, the collaboration entitled Obsess, you know, it has earned the Jamaican singer her first entry on the UK singles chart. The song, which appears on Harris' new album, Funk Wave Bounces Volume 2, has debut at number 71 on the UK chart dated August 18.